after finishing module one, it's time to mod, uh, move on to module two. Um, I promise the introduction videos for module two, three, four, and five, and six will not be anywhere near as long as the one for module one. Um, I just want to introduce you to the new format of the course. So for module one, uh, we went through it in great detail and we identified kind of some key tips for being successful. Uh, module 2 is very similar in the formatting of Module 1, but it is slightly different. This format of Module 2 will carry on to the rest of the lectures, or I'm sorry, the modules. And so the first thing you should do when you start a module is I would like you to read through the couple paragraphs of information that I've provided. It gives you an idea of what to, to look for or to pay close attention to throughout the module. If you click on the Module 2 Learning Objectives, which is where you're watching this video from, it outlines all of the objectives broken down by chapter. So if you'll remember on the course syllabus, I listed all of the Module 2 Learning Objectives as a big long list. This breaks down by chapter, and so as you're reading through Chapter 1, you should focus on these four key things. Um, the textbook is 400 and some pages, and we are going to cover as many of those pages as possible, but at the level that we're at in Photoshop, there are some things that are more important at this point and some things that are not as important that will become important in advanced Photoshop classes. But right now we're focusing on foundational skills based Photoshop. And so we're going to focus on on what I feel develops a core foundation for your skill set to move forward, whether you move forward into an advanced Photoshop class or just other graphic arts courses. OK. Uh, once you read the module learning objectives, it is my recommendation that whenever you start a module, the very first thing that you should do is you should click on any projects. And so project uh, module two just has one project. So you should click on it and you should read through the project. Now, there are going to be different levels of skill set in this class from student to student. And so you might, write, might read through this and think to yourself, I don't know any of that. And that is where you're expected to be. So if you know anything that's on this page, you're just, you just have a head start. But if you're reading through this and you're like, I have no idea how to do any of this stuff, that's okay. But you should read through it and you should start to look for things as you're going through the chapters. And so item number two here says, if you have not already done so, please change your Photoshop color space to North America Pre-Press 2 via the color settings dialog box. Hint, use the edit menu. If you get a prompt at any time during this activity to change a color space, you should do so. Every file you submit for grading in Art1280 should use the North America Pre-Press 2 color space. That probably means absolutely nothing to you right now, but if you have this idea that you're looking for North America Pre-Press 2 or you're looking for color space, as you read through Chapter 1, which is the first requirement of this module, you will find information on color spaces and you'll be able to then say, oh, now I can write down how to do that because I know I'm going to have to do that for Project 1. You may even want to start the project and do the project alongside your reading because as you come across things, you'll be able to do them. While we're talking about the projects, I'd like to note that the first project is very skills-based. It's entirely skills-based. There's no creative part of project one. It's creating documents, cropping documents, changing color and format and things like that. But every project after project one will slowly become more and more creative-based until we get to the last module and projects uh, 9, 10, 11, they're going to be primarily uh, creative based. Projects 6, 7, and 8, they're all creative based. And so slowly the projects will transition from completely skills based over to being mostly creative, artistic based. And you'll get to kind of like flex your creative muscles and show, show the class kind of what you're interested in for your projects.